In today's always-on world, downtime isn't just inconvenient, it's expensive. Whether it's a planned upgrade or an unexpected failure, your messaging infrastructure needs to stay resilient. That's where IBM MQ's high availability and disaster recovery options come in. Let's start with high availability, or HA. This is about keeping your messaging service running smoothly even when individual components fail. IBM MQ offers several HA options, each tailored to different platforms and needs. If you're running in containers, the best option is the native HA queue manager. It uses a three instance core and model managed by Kubernetes. If one instance fails, another takes over in seconds with zero data loss. No shared storage needed, just fast local disks. It's cloud native and engineered for containers. On Linux VMs, you might choose a replicated data queue manager or RDQM. It also uses a three node core room and has a fast switch over but with a synchronous local storage replication at the OS level. It's ideal for on-prem or hybrid environments, but can't be used in containers. For other environments, the traditional multi-instance queue manager is still available. That provides reasonable switch over times. However, this requires shared storage with specific file locking to enable switching between active and standby instances. Due to the shared storage approach, it's not well suited to containers. You could, of course, set up high availability yourself, for example, using Kubernetes or a hypervisor to restart the queue manager after a failure. You then have to support that setup, and you need a much deeper understanding of how MQ works. Recovery times can vary, and you'll need to manage storage replication yourself. Now, let's talk about disaster recovery, or DR. This is about bouncing back from major outages. Think regional failures or data center loss. Replication between regions is over such distances that it has to be asynchronous to avoid slowing down the main site. This means there is inevitably a possibility of some data loss. For container environments, cross-region replication extends native HA to a second Kubernetes cluster. It uses the same technology as native HA, so it's fast, doesn't require external storage replication, and works well in containers. RDQM also supports DR, with asynchronous fast replication and no shared storage, but it isn't suited to containers. RDQM also has a synchronous option, but it only works within the same region, so is arguably more of a HA solution. For other setups, DR usually means storage replication or periodic backups. It's more manual, and you have to support it yourself. It might be okay if you have fairly relaxed RTO, recovery time objective, and RPO, recovery point objective requirements. And of course, there's always the question of whether data recovery is worth the cost to upkeep, versus being able to replay the messages for a short period of time in a single site. And remember, if managing all this sounds like too much, you can always let IBM handle it for you with MQ as a service or simplify with the MQ appliance. So whether you're building for resilience in the cloud, on-prem or somewhere in between, IBM MQ has the tools to keep your messages moving no matter what.